Okay, continue mesh menu and you know, add reach the matrix extrude. Okay, I select this uh, object from here and bring it there. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, select this cube and go into the surface. It's extrude object uh, in a matrix mode. It's like extrude. You can select the faces that you want or if you select anything it means select all <clears throat> for matrix extrude you can go to the mesh and add and then select matrix extrude it's sitting is here and it's simple you can simply click and drag and it acts like this this is a matrix extrude you can uh, specify this is a step as you can see it eight a step or you can change the step that you want. Here is a polygon coordination. It means it's uh, extrude according to the polygon, polygon coordination. And as you can see, it's like. And here you can change the move in X, Y, and uh, of course the X, to Z, Z direction, if you want. You can rotate them in any direction. The and or you can uh, scale it to any direction that you want x y z and rotate it if you want it's very simple and here for these uh, options we have a variation it is initial it means uh, it's uh, as you can see we have if you want to <clears throat> uh, change the move rotate and the scale randomly you can select the variation here the initial means this variation is depend on the before step the step before of that object okay it means from the zero to the end this variation for example the movement from as you can see you can play this game uh, this handle to for example from zero to 100 percent uh, variation for example in this moment so the initial it means it's the, the end uh, step it's depend on the first step but per step as you can see each step has its own variation it gets its own variations per step or you can select it none and that's it you can uh, create the shape like this with matrix extrude another tool after matrix extrude is a, a smooth shift this is unlike a, exactly extrude object if you right click and extrude as you can see if you extrude and the preserve group is active and the initial maximum angle is in this direction i explained it before it acts like this but if you select this cube this uh, uh, surfaces and instead of the regular extrude use smooth shift to add or you can right click here it's a uh, can find it so this is not very important tool that is not here so you have to go into the mesh add a smooth shift as you can see it's exactly like the extrude if you click and drag if you pre preserve groups it deactivate something be happen here instead of separating them it's uh, at a bridge to separate a surface here here you can set the offset variation subdivision here but in this surface if 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 we have a preserve group it's actually like the extrude if you uh, deactivate to preserve group instead of separating them it's add a, a bridge between these uh, two surfaces that extrude this is a smooth shift this is exactly like extrude it's not very important and use useful tool but it's there hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.